so for step 17, the propeller shaft. Well, we need to grab our propeller shaft, which is this one here. And like I said, it's got a bit of weight to it. It's, uh, it's a pretty heavy duty one. And you can see that we're gonna need to grease some stuff up here, put a bit of uh, these little bushings. And then there's the BB1 bushing, which I'm going to replace with full ball bearings. And then we've got the gears. So we've got to attach it looking like that. And so there's the bearings replacing the plastic ones, the little uh, shafts. And then of course it's showing that you need to use some rubber cement. It's just so that it will hold because otherwise they're probably gonna fall out. So I've just got my Elmer's rubber cement here, which I'll use. So I'll set this up and let's put this propeller shaft together. So normally I wouldn't grease this up, but I can see that even on the ends they want it greased up because obviously these gears have to run around the shaft. So I think I'm just going to blanket this and, and grease it anyway. So if we take our shaft, you can see that we need to have a little bit of grease on this side and there's going to end up being grease on this side. So I'm just going to spread it out here and you can see that there is the pin but we have a couple of things that have to go on the other side of it first so if we grab our plastic piece here now the other thing that I've noticed is the there is a ring I don't know if you can see this there is an outer you see how it's one side is flat one side actually has a bit of a lip to it so the lips got to face the gear so this has to slide on that way then we have one of the ball bearings so that's facing the ball bearing and then there's the pin now because we're going to need to use some rubber cement just to hold hold it in place I'm just gonna get a little bit here I don't want to mix it in with the with the grease so I think what I'll do is I'll stick it on this way and stick that in there just like that and then you can see that after that we've got this gear that has to fit on and I have greased this up but you know what because we've been playing around with it a bit I'm gonna grease it up just a bit more I'll stick it on at this end because this gear will end up sliding through and fitting onto there right about let's move the pin a bit there we go just like that and then you can see that we're doing the same thing again. So we have these pl this plastic piece and notice that the lip is still facing forward. So we've got to stick this on, th where is it? Yeah, that way. So you can see that the lip that's there, see how there's a raised area that's facing this way. And then we have our BB1, which is my the ball bearing that's replacing that. That's gonna sit on like that. So that is how it's going to sit. And that is how it should look when you've, when you've finished it. So same thing again, because it's identical on the other side. So I'm gonna grab our grease here, put a little bit on there, spread it around. We're gonna grab one of those pieces, make sure that the raised is facing forward or towards the gear, put on our bearing, and now we've got the pin. So I'm gonna put this down a second. We're gonna grab some rubber cement. I'm gonna stick it on the pin itself. We don't need a lot, we just need enough that it's gonna hold itself in there. There we go. There's the pin. And, well, actually, now that I'm holding it this way, let's grease 
this up. And we're going to slide this on, making sure that that piece slides in and over it, just like that. And then again, we've got this piece with the raised area facing out and then the bearing. So ultimately there is our propeller shaft with both sides complete. And it should look like that on both sides. So there we go. There is our propeller shaft. So step 17 is done. So now we're going to move on to step 18 and we're going to attach the propeller shaft to the chassis. 